Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 8th, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Look at earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours on our sun, 304 angstroms. Still observing only that M-class large solar flare. One other minor C-class flare to report from the same sunspot region, which is a very complex region of that. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming. Active sunspot region on the right-hand side. And as well on the left-hand side, watch for a bright region getting ready to come in. No major CMEs to talk about thwarted our way. Looking at outgoing there. Watch on the right-hand side, large plasma tornado. But lots of plasma filaments outgoing. Not much has changed since last night's video. A closer look here at that plasma tornado. Southeast region of our sun. And that is connected to that large plasma filament across the southern hemisphere and complete antipode to where the last one was a few days ago. Having a look at multi-spectrum, last 48 hours. Notable there, active region coming in, and as well our very active sunspot region in the northern hemisphere, earth-facing view right now. Closer look at the complex sunspot regions. Both polarities are very strong, especially in the southern region there. So two very prominent sunspots, earth-facing view. Solar X-ray flux coming down into B range. Solar X-ray flux remains low. Geomagnetic activity. We're sitting at KP1. Real-time solar wind, we're... After seeing a quite a spike here just recently, 509 kilometers per second jumped up there, but we're sitting at 359 kilometers per second right now. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral still only showing yesterday's CME, which could amplify the already active region coming in. Having a look at LASCO 2, the last 48 hours. Still showing those two sun diving comets. And as well, Mars heading around backside of the sun. Schumann resonance for today is a power of five. Very low, healthy power. Quality of 6.6. .6. Amplitude of five, power of four. Now let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours as we did see some activity. Central America, as forewarned yesterday, saw a 5.0 early this morning. Porta Padre, Cuba. That's right. The Caribbean seeing quite a bit of activity. 4.1 there. Dominican Republic and seismicity increasing through the region. Looking across the United States, other than a couple of earthquakes, New Mexico, Saw 3.3 there, Nevada, as well, Loyalton, California, 2.9, but no major swarms or anything to report right now. Alaska, still seeing quite a bit of activity, Nikolskoy, 4.5, and Adak with a 4.6, pretty deep though, 207 kilometer depth. Off the coast of Japan here, Izu Islands, 4.5, 5.2 here, Santa Cruz, Philippines, 168 kilometer depth. But also Salcedo, Philippines, 4.6. They saw there. And our deepest earthquake to the last 24 hours, Batang, Indonesia, 4.1, but 527 kilometer depth. And then shortly thereafter, we saw a very sizable 5.6 magnitude, Nepal, 15 kilometer depth as well. Depile, Nepal. Myanmar seeing a 4.7. So Indian plate seeing a lot of activity today. 5.2 here, Porta Vila, Vanuatu, 4.5, Nifu, Tonga, and a 4.7 there, Kermadec Islands. But no major deep earthquakes coming from there, only Indonesia. 
4.5 earthquake to report here. Portofino, Italy. As well, a 4.8 earthquake here at Wreck Jane's Ridge. Atlantic Plate still seeing activity. 4.6 there, South Sandwich Islands. And Chile, Buin, Chile. Saw a 5.0 earthquake today, 90 kilometer depth. As well, a 4.5 there, San Antonio de los Cobros. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Quick browse at the last seven days for activity across the world. Two largest earthquakes past seven days have been in California. We've seen a lot of deep earthquakes, Indian Plate recently, and sizable 5.6. Originally came in as a 5.8, according to USGS. Still, I think not enough released up into the North American Plate, watching the Juan de Fuca the next few days. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery, and as well reporting the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Amongst all of these flood alerts, looking at 176 active hazards right now. And look at this, just flood after flood after flood alert. Just trying to find the active, active volcanoes. Looking at Ebico in Russia. Boy, oh boy. Floods, floods, floods across every continent. Swiss and Ajima in Japan. Villarica in Chile, Fuego, Guatemala, Sabancaya in Peru, Sangay in Ecuador. This is all in the last four hours. Popocatito in Mexico and Shevelich in Russia. So looking at about nine volcanoes getting updated today. Stay tuned for the next volcanic, volcanic activity report coming soon. Tropical Storm Nicole is going through the Caribbean right now and heading towards Florida. Going to make landfall Wednesday into Thursday. Overlooking the Pacific. Pretty strong cloud cover across Central Pacific and up into Alaska. Snowstorms all across Russia right now. And some pretty strong systems in the Atlantic. Finally going to make some landfall across Europe. Now let's get to windy forecast models here. Watching the approach of Tropical Storm Nicole, as it may be a Category 1 hurricane when it reaches the east eastern seaboard of Florida. But we're expecting at least a 6-meter surge from this storm coming in. Forecast models showing this storm raking up the east coast, possibly joining forces with an Alberta clipper, northern low for possible superstorm development over the Atlantic provinces. Very interesting forecast models here. Watching the Atlantic as well as these systems race towards the UK. Long range forecast. Big system up by Greenland. But a couple more are going to be racing through here to Ireland coming in for next Monday to Tuesday, long-range forecast is showing a very windy event for the United Kingdom. Overlooking the Pacific, pretty large low-pressure system here, developing and heading into Alaska for the week. Set to bring some heavy snow and possible some record snowfall totals. Very strong low-pressure system right here as well. East Pacific. And that's going to keep funneling, funneling in some moisture for BC and the northwest coast of the United States. A little look at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Very strong low pressure system heading up into Kamchatka. Long range forecast. And then straight through the Bering Strait. Let's put on the rain and snow models here for the next few days. Showing Tropical Storm Nicole going to bring a lot of moisture along with this Tropical Storm. Looks like the eye of the storm may even 
goes straight across the panhandle into Tampa Bay before it starts going northward. And as you can see, it does not quite join forces here with this forecast model, but they could change in the next few days. We could have a major superstorm on our doorstep for northeastern United States, Atlantic provinces of Canada, overlooking Europe. Watch for these systems to finally start penetrating the coastline and moving inland by next weekend things are going to start to be very wet overlooking southeast asia west pacific daily storms through australia mostly uh, northern territory down into southeastern parts thanks everybody for watching today i hope you enjoyed the video stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily do. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.